Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Fist Ultra Combo. So now I'm just gonna farm up these last remaining sapphires we need in order to get the Majin Buu to Orange 1. Then we'll have five characters in our main lineup that are Orange 1. And the character Cell that I haven't been upgrading, uh, I will replace with Jirin. Once we get him, I think we're 38 shards away or like 40 shards away. So we're pretty close to getting him. So right there, we do get the Fat Buu to Orange 1. Now, as you guys know, I'm saving up my bento boxes for any future events they have out that we can redeem on any characters that they have or uh, even dragon summoning tickets. So now, let's hop into the arena. Uh, let's see, right here. Okay. Now, we're going we're gonna to go against Izzy. It's going to be a pretty tough fight, but this is mainly going to show us what we need to work on. So, let's go. Now, Alright, so we did lose there. He has a lot more priority than me, 3,000. Um, I'm just curious how he gets that high in priority. I think I guess he has a lot of food items. But um, as you saw, that Super Saiyan 4 Goku was just dealing a crazy amount of damage. Just basically one-shotting my characters. But um, you saw the main liability in my lineup was that Cell. He was basically starting off the fight of five characters against six characters because he did die in that first round. But, um, you know, that's the pros and cons I gotta deal with because I'm not upgrading him. And I know I'm gonna get Jirin soon and upgrade him right away. I'm even saving up my Holy Water so that when Jirin does come into the lineup, he'll be, um, you know, at least level 70 or something around that. So, yeah, guys, stay tuned for that. We'll definitely, within the next... I'm saying, I think we're gonna get him within the next month. I'm pretty confident in that. But, um, yeah, so right here, those bento boxes, I'm only gonna use, like, one or two. Um, just saving the rest for that event I was talking about before. So now we're going to rush some campaign. Let's see what we get. I am trying to farm up the Kid Goku, not the Kid Goku, the Kid Buu for the Divine Domains. And uh, so we can get more of his breakthrough skills with the Kami's Blessing. Yeah, right here, the Grand Kai's Blessing. So if we get that, we get a little added effect onto that. So right here, we're going to Divine Domain um, the Kai's Blessing of the Fat Buu. See if anyone else we can do. Now, for the evil Majin Vegeta, I need to upgrade his moves, but we can do it for the hit right here, so we'll do that. So, his Kai's Blessing we have at level 4. Let me know what you guys are uh, upgrading, and um, yeah, so now we're going to go into the move system, and we're going to do the Gold Summon and the Dragonstone Summon. And I usually spend around 160 Dragonstones just on the, the moves, just because it um, has a good chance of getting me a purple, and I'll just smelt the white and green. And make sure guys to like, comment, subscribe for more content. Uh, you guys' support is greatly appreciated. So right here, now we're going to advance Majin Vegeta's weapons. Because it does have to equal level 200 in total of his gear in order to ascend him in the Divine Domain. So now we're looking pretty good there. But uh, that cell is just really bad. But okay. So let's see what else we can do. I uh, don't think I have enough to Divine Domain to get there. Kai's Blessing for the Macho Vegeta. Let 
Let me know in the comments below, guys, what character you guys trying to get next. We're going to hop in right now and do a free summon. I'm just hoping to get more Kid Boo shards. Right, let's see what we get. We get Steamed Bun. Okay, so it'll help us raise our priority that we uh, lack in. More Holy Waters that will save for Jerun. Fish and Chips. Enchantment Potion. And more Holy Water, okay? Do one more, and we got a Nut Roll. So make sure to complete the daily task, guys. I know a couple of you guys have been asking how to level up so quick. Just make sure you complete the daily task because it gives a ton of experience. And even some of the special tasks, you guys can complete and get experience that way. Right here, I'm going to go into the Alliance real quick, do my daily donations. Let me know what you guys think about the... Uh, the cross server arena and all that what do you think they should add to the game what do you think they should uh make quicker or like easier to do i know when i'm running the experience trials and uh and uh oh, what's the other one the gold dungeons they should have a, a skip button for that and they should also make it so there's no cooldown for that because uh, i know i spend a lot more time than i really think i should doing the gold dungeons and stuff a day but um let me know what you guys think in the comments below So now we're just collecting some rewards that we got by spending some stamina. So we got 30 bento boxes. And I'm going to spend my alliance points on that Majin Vegeta. And then in the challenge points, I usually spend it on the Boo Go Tanks or the Fat Boo, depending on what I need. Now the next item I want to get for the from the Gear Awakening is the Solar Normandy Bracelet for Kid Boo. That will allow him to have, I think, a 40% chance when he does his ultimate to silence the enemies in the back row. That means they are unable to do their ultimate attack, so that's really helpful. But let's do another arena fight and take on Unforgiven. So he does have around like 13k more CP, but let's go. And we do get the win there. We had actually more priority in this fight. And we took out two of his characters in the first round. So that's why it's better to have more priority. But that's pretty much going to wrap up this episode. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content. And as always, I'm out. Later.